Hey, it's Tech Boy here, and I have uh, something really cool I want to show you guys. Have you ever had a computer that the screen got broke or destroyed, or the whole entire computer just got destroyed? You dropped it, or someone threw it, or something, anything like that. And you had lots of important things on the hard drive. Well, I'm going to show you a trick. Uh, so you can get all your important information from that destroyed non-working computer because you can't get it from that destroyed computer and everything is saved on the hard drive and I'm going to show you how you can get all your stuff from the hard drive uh, so you don't lose everything from a destroyed computer just because your computer got destroyed doesn't mean you lost all your information unless the hard drive got destroyed along with it usually the hard drive would be intact so this hard drive is from a computer that got broken can't access it with that computer this is a Hitachi um, hard drive it's like a hundred and fifty gigs something like that hundred sixty gigs and right now I have this cheap little Acer computer that I use as a school computer running Windows 7 and this has an i3 processor in it it's kind of a cheap i3 processor come on focus um, and things kind of run not that fast on this computer but um, but I'm just showing you that this is Windows 7 on here that you can clearly tell and I'm gonna take the hard drive out of this and this has Windows Vista on the hard drive and it'll run perfectly on here so shut the computer off there we go flip this around I'm gonna put this on the tripod so you can get a good angle alright this is very easy to do to access your information just switch the hard drives alright here's the hard drive uh, that's RAM memory and all that. Eh, sorry about that. And then, in this computer, just watch the tab. Right there, I gotta be very careful with this tab. Pull it out like that. And I'm gonna fix my camera. Usually there's screws in here, but I already took the screws out. So this is a SATA hard drive. Um, there's different types of hard drives. SATA hard drives are the newer ones. That pulls off. You're going to need this part right here. In, in the case of this computer, they're all different. All computers are different. See, this is a Seagate 320 gig running 7. Here, I'll put this Hitachi on here that's running Vista. Make sure that's connected the right way. Kind of bends that metal a little bit, but it has a case around it. It's a little thicker hard drive. The case makes it a little thicker. So, I'm gonna flip that around, make sure that goes in correctly. Make sure that's in evenly. So, it's not gonna fit in there because it has this uh, case on there for it to fit in the other computer. But I just make sure it stays and I flip it over and open the computer up, turn it on and right there you can see that is the Vista loading bar and what I did was I took my Seagate external 500 gigabyte hard drive I love this hard drive by the way very s thinner than my phone and I already did this I just want to show you guys but right there's Vista loading up um, and I hooked this up and I load all of my stuff onto this external hard drive And it's that easy. It automatically loads the Vista. Now, if you can also do this if you buy, a, if you have an extra computer and you have all your stuff on it and you want to keep using it, just switch the hard drives and you can use it on this computer. Um, 
the graphics will be a little bit different and um just the um aspect ratio and all that and you will have to reinstall certain drivers um like i'll check that out later you can see it still says the compact um branding there but this is actually detecting the i3 processor and the 4 gigs of RAM. The other computer only had 2 gigs of RAM. It was a much older computer. So this discovers the hardware that's already inside this computer. And all you have to do is, I think, to get this to work properly, it won't connect to Wi-Fi. And you would have to install wifi, uh, wireless drivers software to connect it to Wi-Fi in this case because this is a newer computer but an older operating system that came from an older computer it's loading the widgets right there but shows battery status and all that you can have your settings for that and it runs really fast on this computer good control panel up here Vista runs great on this i3 processor, and this uh, originally was running off a Pentium processor. But you can take all your information, and I hooked this up, and I just put everything on here, and it, it worked great. So I just wanted to show you that. Windows needs to install driver software uh, for SM bus controller. I'm not going to do any of that on here. Because I'm going to put back in this. But there you go. In case your computer gets destroyed. It, it has a lot of drivers it wants to install. In case your computer gets destroyed. Just switch your hard drive. And it's that easy. Um, if you have any questions. Just uh, leave a comment. And I will try my best to answer it. And help you out. It did all this stuff on the old computer, too. Tried to... All these pop-ups. It wasn't my computer. <laughs> but, um... It, it runs great on here. And that's a way you can save all of... Um... All of... Your information that you had. Or just switch hard drives and you have a new computer. If you have an old computer and all that. So, I'm Tech Boy. Thanks for watching. I hope this, um... This was helpful. If you want more videos like this and reviews... Uh, just subscribe and you'll get more of those.